Hi guys, welcome to another video. Welcome to Pro Scalp. As you know, my name is Paul, the man behind the dot. That's me. Um, quarantine content, guys. I'm fed up of it, but it's not long left now before we can get back to everything. I'm looking a little bit drawn, looking a little bit tired at the moment, guys. It's because I've been working really hard. I've been doing 12 hour shifts. Um, I know you're probably laughing because everyone's meant to be off and I'm making videos but I've been working hard in my office I'm up at 6, last night I didn't finish till 10 at night um, as you know I've got a number of businesses that I'm working on all the time so it's never ending for me and unfortunately I've not really had a rest through this time um, since we've been quarantined off so basically I'm trying to get as much done as I can ready for when we go back so at least I can hit the ground running with obviously the businesses, the number of businesses I have from a marketing point of view. And I think from my point of view, guys, it's been a great opportunity for me to get a lot of my backlog of work out of the way because I'll be honest, I do have a lot of backlog of work all the time. So um, <clears throat> just to inform you, um, I've been getting a lot of messages from people asking me about things like SMP, how does, well not just SMP, obviously SMP is what we do, but basically, Paul, you know, have you ever grown your sort of, um, you know, your hair while you've had SMP, what does it look like, you know, what is the actual look of the head, um, let's put some lights on in here, it's pretty dark guys actually to be honest. There you go, whoa, there an adjustment there. So basically asking me, Paul, you know, what is it like um, your head when you, you know, you don't shave your hair properly and, and whatnot, and it's very difficult, but to put it bluntly, guys, I've always said to a lot of my customers, um, how long does SMP last? And sorry about the camera, I'm just trying to adjust it. So basically, my customer's saying, look, SMP, get it done, yeah. How long does it last, you know, before I have to shave? And I, and I, and I say, well, look at, you know, what razor are you gonna use? What's your technique? What do you prefer to use? You know, some guys say, well, I'm gonna get a Bic razor, I'm gonna, no, don't do that. Because a Bic razor will take the non-SMP areas down too close to the skin, to the point where the SMP won't actually blend in with the hair. Some guys are just gonna use like a clipper, go over it with a number of one. That's fine, but you'll probably get a day out of it, if that, and it probably still won't look right. Um, the for best results, guys, I'm not gonna I'm gonna cut to the chase. I use a foil razor. I use a dead cheap normal foil razor. I think you can get them from Tesco for about 18 quid. Phillips one, literally two foil razor, go over it. It's a quick shave razor that you use on your face in the morning. Um it's dead easy to use. I literally go over it once every two days. I'm a bit finicky because I like to keep mine tight and short. And yeah, it, it sort of keeps it to the bone and the sides, but it keeps that blending. It looks it looks absolutely razor tight. And it's the best I've found. And I've been using razor after razor after razor for the last couple of months. You know, if I'd say for the last six months at least, trying to find that perfect blend between how the hair and the SMP work together. But also, how to get a couple of days of longevity through it. Now, bear in mind guys, I'm a little bit disheveled. As I say, I've been working hard, I'm tired. It's the end of month for me, so it means I've got a lot of stuff to do, paying staff and end of month returns and all sorts going on from an accountant point of view. And I've just been a little, let myself go a little bit this last week, but I thought it was a great opportunity to let you guys see what it's like if you don't actually shave your head and your face, by the way. Um, so I haven't had a shave since Sunday. So that's one, two, three, four, four days now, going into five days tomorrow. Um, I'm gonna take my hat off now and you're gonna see the difference. Now this is what happens if you don't shave your head. But I don't normally do this and the only reason I do this, I've done it this week is purely because I'm getting DM'd in a lot of messages asking me, how long will it last, Paul? How often do you shave? What's it look like if you miss a shave? All these questions are getting asked to me quite regularly. So I thought, you know what guys? I'll just not shave my head. I'll just not shave my head for about four, five days. 
and let you see the ramifications of exactly how bad it looks. Now, don't hold against me guys, I am going a little bit grey and stuff because you've got to bear in mind I'm 44 years of age, I'm not getting any younger, I am certainly getting older. Um, and I look old this week and I can tell on the camera now that I look really old but as I say, bit worn out this week, bit tired um, going to get plenty of rest this weekend and come back to you guys rejuvenated next week for more content however, back to the video here is what my hair looks like ok, so you can't see it very well there but if I come into the light, into a darker light here for example, can you see there the actual hair at the sides and you'll see my crown it's actually you can see the SMP underneath the hair and it it's horrible you know you can see I know I'm a bit hot here guys with the cap on there but you know if you look at it you look at the shade here and then I've got this growth area here and I've got a bit at the front and then look at all this thickness at the side so as you can see that's how my hair went right round in a horseshoe and then the SMP fits underneath here but if you let it grow like this look at it, you can see there underneath the actual sorry I'm a bit warm guys, that, oh, it's that cap, it's, it's boiling, got me boiling hot in this building so you know it is really noticeable them follicles of hair so guys you don't want to be getting yourself in that position you've got to keep it fresh there's no two ways about it. This is only a short video today, but it's giving you an idea on how the head actually looks. I mean, I can't wait because to, to have gone this long and guys, it's been freaking me out. So I'm gonna get it shaved up tomorrow morning, all nice and fresh, get all my face shaved up, get these eyebrows sorted, hair, ears, the nose, everything, full grooming session in the morning at six o'clock, but I will feel sharp and I'll feel a lot better tomorrow because at the moment I feel so dishevelled and scruffy. I look tired, I feel drawn, I need a good night's sleep. So guys, just a little bit of an FYI. If you're going to get SMP done, great. I think it's the best decision you'll ever made. But what you need to do is you need to stay on top of it. Because SMP, when you've had it done, is here to stay. But you've got to let it keep it looking sharp. Otherwise people will notice a mile off. So I've had to wear a cap for a few days to get away with this. Even people have seen me and said, I've never seen you wear a cap so much. I mean, this is my favorite cap at the moment. I've got some more on order, but I've got to wear a cap, guys. I couldn't go out with my hair like this. So if you're gonna have FSMP, talk to me about it. Talk to me about what razors I use. Ask me in the comments below. Tell me if you need any advice on it. But honestly, dead simple, Philip Razor, £18 from Tesco. You can burn the thing out, chuck it away and get a new one. It's great and it keeps it just perfect. Don't end up looking like this, guys. Don't end up ruining your SMP. It's cost you good money and it looks amazing. But don't. Don't do it. Okay, guys. Nice speaking to you. A little bit of a quick video tonight. Just thought to turn one around so you can see me a little bit dishevelled and a little bit of a mess. But you know what? It gives you an idea of what this... This, uh, this will look like if you don't take care of it. Hit that subscribe button, hit that share, hit that like, hit the heart, hit everything, hit the bell, and I'll speak to you soon, guys. Take care, bye, see you later.